All right, Matt, so here's what you got. We got access out there, the main road. We're in the back corner of these warehouses where the address takes you. We're in the very back strip along this big gravel field. And this is what we have right now. So you can see their existing was shooting the water all the way over like this here to like a four foot strip by the buildings and it's puddling. I'll show you that down there. So what I did was lower the basin and then V'd it in and then ran it. And this was pretty tight as well. We had some 0.5s and 0.4s and stuff like that as we went through this. And so you were there when, you, when I just calced it with Dan and I did the run for the distance all the way down to the edge and I ran distance up to that end. So it's a 1% overall. Um, but basically how we ended up doing this is we pulled out all the asphalt first and then I took the farthest garage door and we sloped in with the mini. We just sloped in naturally tying into what was there and just tried to make it slope down away all the way to the flow line that got us to our height and then we had to chase that height back this way dragging our flow line cut and then we came back into the middle and kind of connected the dots removing whatever had to be removed because this came up like pretty high like it is right here you know so we only took out three inches and then four five six eight ten a foot back up this side's crazy high this side didn't have all that much to remove but it was still a decent amount so uh we got the curb to remove that's not going back now that they placed the bollard so that'll just be a tiny bit of concrete out at the end of the day and then there's another gas valve here with the ballers we're just cutting around so we got to make sure we refresh the locates that's one thing i had to drive into the guys last time we had a, a powered communication duct bank going through the other side that doesn't go through this side so that's good so you only have this one gas locate to worry about we didn't get into it but just make sure they're digging super careful when they go around it we can just saw cut around there remove the wheel stop and then these drains are going to go bye bye so we'll take these drains out uh, they do flow but we want to take them out. So this is a good example right here where this drain is and you can see how it's humped up on the backside. Like we're going to continue that slope all the way down until we get to flow line. So um, right now it slopes all the way up. So this is the highest side is where we're going to take out the most dirt on the high side and we can cross slope in at whatever rate we want to, but I'd probably try to stick something similar to what we had over there on the other side. So those two drains go are gone and then we do our patch basically from the back of this uh, ecology block. And then they'll have to do more, continuing the phases down, lower that drain that's down there and keep going if they wanna keep going. That's about as far as we can go with the tolerance that we have to have. So we'll come from the back of this block wall, but this is what they have right now. Is they have it shooting over off their patch and then it's the same height as the garages. So they're flooding these uh, units which is not okay, especially for these spray paint guys. And they're super cool. Uh, the main gal that works in there, they've been awesome with us the whole time. So yeah, remove those two. Uh, I would bring uh, some stuff to cap off. They tie into the roof drain system. So we'll need to somehow cap them just so we're not getting dirt into their roof drain system. And I'm not sure what size pipe that's gonna be. I'm sure this is a four inch, so we could probably go back and just stub off the four inch. If you want to bring some four inch PVC caps with you, that would probably solve the problem. But if not, uh, we could probably get creative and cap those off. We don't need any risers uh, or anything. We already jet setted it in, so the basin's set. And then when we come back tomorrow, we will need to cut right on the back side of the drain. So if we just cut right here, cut that up, then we could work our way excavating, work our way back up in, and basically have this same exact looking thing flipped over to the other side. So, um, yeah, that is it.